Welcome back to another Cavalry One Minute Wonder. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this animation in Cavalry in under a minute. Let's go. Let's start by hitting Command Y to add a background shape, change its color to black, and then we'll hold Option and select the ellipse from the toolbar here and add an ellipse to the center of our scene and add a deformer to this ellipse and choose the oscillator. Now, if we select the shape tool, you can see there's only four points here. So we need more to really make the oscillator deformer work. So we'll turn off Bezier and change the divisions to two. We'll then add this shape to a duplicator, distribution set to point and the count to 10. And then right click on shape scale and add a behavior stagger. Now we can hit command period to search for a color array object. And then we'll change the first color of this array to white, the second color to black, and then connect this to the ellipse shape. Now you're not going to see anything because we need to reverse the scale, the way it's distributed amongst these. So we'll just go to the graph and flip this, and then we'll change the settings from 1 to 4.5 instead. Now inside of the oscillator, we can change the frequency until these start to align, and then change the stagger until the optical illusion begins to form. All right, that's the basis for this technique, but because I can't help myself, I'm gonna share a couple more things that you can do if you're gonna try this at home and ways that you can make it unique to you. So some of the things that you can do are directly in the oscillator in this wave style dropdown. There's actually a couple of really cool options. We can change this to a square wave and now we've produced a new result. And if you play this back, you'll see it's a little staccato and that's mostly because there aren't enough divisions on this shape to really get smooth playback for those sharp angles. So we can increase this up to something like 10 and then it's going to play back much smoother. Then we can also try some of these other ones like triangle for a more flowery looking design or sawtooth for this sort of buzzsaw looking thing. Secondly, we can go into the duplicator and choose something like a chromatic aberration filter. And this works really well with a design like this because it allows you to take this very geometrical pattern and start to give it a little bit more uh, organic feel by adding warp and, and dimension to its edges and adding a little bit more color into the scene. So we can mess with some of these settings and pull the repetition distance so that these are coming out to the edge and we can create some really cool looking results like this. Another thing you can do is in the stagger offset, if you want to create an animation, you can do something like take this stagger and bring this offset up and down to create maybe a transition or any new effects like that. And then lastly, I'm going to change this oscillator type back to a normal one for a moment and turn off this chromatic aberration. To create an infinite looping thing, you can use the stagger offset and just animate this if you start here and then bring this all the way up, this will eventually repeat until you can create a seamless loop out of this and play into that. You can see we can line this up perfectly. As I added more divisions to this edge, it's a little bit thrown off. So all you have to do, if that's ever the case, just go into the oscillator frequency and change this until these line up. All right, that should give you something to play with. Look forward to seeing what you come up with in your designs.